So the Coffee Quality Institute was established in 1996, originally because the Specialty Coffee Association was, was dealing just with it as a trade association, and there wasn't much being done in either the research areas or in the areas of improving quality at origin. CQI is important because it's an organization that is really focused on improving the lives of coffee growers around the world. And I think that there has been historically a fundamental frailty in the coffee supply chain. I don't think enough attention has been paid to you know, how the business is really rewarding the growers of coffee. The Coffee Quality Institute is an umbrella association that brings together all players in coffee around, from around the world. So it touches on everybody who deals with coffee in one way or another. And to know that there's an institution out there that its mission is to make that situation better for coffee growers, I think creates a more sustainable supply chain for all of us. There is not any other organization that um, is able to work with the product, work with the people, and work in the places um, as well as Coffee Quality Institute does. The CQI is a nonprofit organization that works along the supply chain to improve the quality of coffee with the intention that uh, that improved quality coffee uh, enhances the livelihoods of farmers. CQI's portfolio of work is really diverse and really interesting and, and any one day we can be having conversations about our projects in Colombia and what we're doing in Yemen and the Q course in Burundi and the project in Ethiopia and it's extremely fast paced. We rely heavily on our, um, our field staff and our project managers to keep everything going but sometimes it's just amazing how many balls we have in the air. Okay. There are hundreds of thousands of farmers and um, millions of people in those families and communities that are producing coffee and that um, can, can live better by having better access to the market and, and better prices. idea is to make sure that the coffee reaches the market and everyone in between. So um, as long as you are in coffee at any point of the value chain, you have a direct access or link with the Coffee Quality Institute. CQI is not here just to flush out the, the tip of the pyramid coffees. We're here to help people understand their product. Once they understand their product, they have a little more control of their destiny on where they can market that, that coffee and give the producers a chance to segregate and differentiate their coffees, at least the percentage that they can. The connections, I think the connections really are key. The connections are what make specialty coffee special and uh, and can really make a difference. So here we are at a, at a retail coffee shop. Everybody is here enjoying their excellent coffee. And I think it's important for the, more and more for consumers to really understand where their coffee comes from and the kind of impact that it has. I think you know, one of the things that CQI is looking at doing right now is expanding the work that we're doing with the Coffee Corps. We want to get more people, you know, from one origin to another origin. We want to get, uh, you know, kind of the technical support out there to the growers and get more buyers to uh, origin, get more people from origin, you know, out to consuming countries as well. Um, when I get to go on a, a CQI mission, it's pretty awesome because I get to, as I call it, touch earth, right? Go to another place and actually get your hands dirty and meet the people that are doing the work and creating this product that we love so much. But I try and dig just a little bit deeper and CQI allows me the opportunity to do that. There are so many people that have been affected by going out, doing their initial work with us and then somehow becoming, you know, part of the long term with us, you know, because we depend a lot on consultants and volunteers and and our in-country partner relationships. My very initial um, impression of the Coffee Quality Institute was that it was this huge, huge organization because we got trainers and consultants from around the world and they would all come and say they're working for Coffee Quality Institute through the Coffee Corps. There's a real direct human connection. I mean, almost every staff person we have started as a volunteer or did something for CQI. The relationships that have been developed by these visits and, 
And the Q grader trainers going and training Q, Q covers in those countries, they create this huge network of, of, uh, of communication that didn't exist before. The Q program was developed to identify specialty coffee lots or high quality coffee lots in the marketplace so that buyers would be able to identify these lots a little bit quicker to help mitigate any kind of misunderstandings on the seller and the buyer side and also to help the sellers understand the producers and the exporters and the importers what a specialty buyer wants in their coffee. And when you have the ability to cross the seas and actually talk the same language, you end up with um, uh, something beyond the project, something that lasts forever, and that's a relationship built on a language that we both can use. And out of that came um, a program for education to teach people how to taste coffee on this specialty scale, to learn and identify and communicate what is a quality coffee in the midst of everything else that they do. To create a situation where we work actively to help them understand what the buyers are hoping to get out of the coffees is really important. Now that I've become an instructor for CQI, I run classes for them and I also run pr classes as an as a individual, private classes. And I get to do them in consuming countries and in producing countries. And it turns out everybody has the same questions and the building that connection and the feeling, the responsibility of doing your job really well so that everybody wins is something that people get. To date, after about a decade of this Q Grader course, we have over 4,000 Q Graders licensed. And beyond that, we have more than 7,000 people who have been trained and taken the courses for Q Grader. To see a cadre of uh, cuppers develop internationally that all speak the same language about coffee is, is enormously exciting. You know, as a person who buys and sells coffee on a razor thin margin, you know, you really, you really need to have an environment where what is produced is done with an eye to what the end buyer wants it to do. It's really encouraging to be working with this staff at CQI, and not only them, but all of the people that come from the industry and volunteer in Coffee Corps, as well as the ones that we employ as consultants throughout the world, because these are the people that make those connections happen, that create some kind of change towards better quality coffee for our future. And so every time a project happens, every time I'm involved even in a small way with Q within a project, I feel really encouraged about moving forward with specialty coffee. Probably the biggest missing piece is the, is the actual coffee industry members partnering with us to bring the supply chain together. Uh, all of those things require funding, you know, and CQI is at a point where to really expand into some of those things, you know, looking at other ways of financing that, I, I think, would be important to us right now. I think that one of the things we should all think about as people in the supply chain for coffee is that, you know, investing in CQI is investing in the future of our supply chain, and so I think that that is a, a very worthwhile place to put your money. opportunities to work in many different coffee producing countries around the world. Um, people put their faith in us, their trust in us, they give us their resources as a way to help impact and improve the livelihoods of farmers. We're changing lives. We're changing the lives of producers. We're changing lives of quality experts. And we're changing lives of the final recipients of coffee.